Hi, I'm Natalie Brunel for Bitcoin Magazine, and today we're talking about the new documentary, The Paradigm of Money, brought to you by writer, director, producer Pete Antico, and narrated by producer Sean Stone. It's being called The Big Short on Steroids and digs into the problems with our global financial system and with fiat, exposing the corruption that leads to ballooning wealth inequality and the disintegration of the middle class. And of course, we wouldn't be telling you about it here unless the documentary exposed you to a possible solution that we all have open access to, Bitcoin. Here's a two minute trailer of the new movie which was just released in recent days. You'll notice some familiar Bitcoin faces and afterward we'll hear from writer, director, producer Pete Antico and narrator, producer Sean Stone, who happens to be Oliver Stone's son. When we have a monetary definition of economy, we fail to assess the all in consequences of the actions that we take. The U.S. economy is reliant on this financial fraud to generate what they call GDP. Naked shorting simple version is a seller sells stock that they don't have to a buyer who sees it in their account electronically but it hasn't been delivered and the buyer gives the seller money. We call that stealing. We can't continue to have a system where Wall Street executives privatize all the gains and then socialize the losses. They create the drugs they deal the drugs. They have no impunity for anything that might become negative as a result of that. Great job wasting my time. If you're going to filibuster, you should run for the Senate. We certainly have a legal system that really favors the wealthy over the common person. I this is not some opinion. This is a mathematical fact. Tens of trillions of dollars are being extracted from the United States of America. If their goal was to try to force as many small businesses out of business, they would do what they've done. It can't legislate its way out of a box. Give me all those subsidies, I can make $16 billion. Actually, a trained monkey can make $16 billion. I think the gold price is rigged. One ounce of gold is underpinning 100 ounces of paper derivatives. The Fed is doing quantitative easing to infinity, printing money to oblivion. We're saying a new global monetary standard, which will be Bitcoin. They're nuts! They know nothing! And that's why the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. Okay, so I had a chance to speak with Pete and Sean, and here's what they had to say about why they wanted to create this project. The purpose was there's not a lot of financial literacy in the world. And the way that the global financial system is structured is, is really different from, from the insiders uh, uh, on Wall Street to the people on Main Street who are, are just trying to invest and protect their money. Um, so Sean and I, you know, we wrote an outline of this about seven or eight years ago, wanting to really get into the history of money. And though the documentary is very comprehensive, um, th there's still a lot deeper realms to go to or the, either the Venetians or the Vatican or actually where uh, the monetary system started, was created, is run, and, uh, and how it works to the benefit of one class of people and to the detriment of others. Now, the audience is really left to make up their own minds on the solution to our broken financial debt system, but there's a powerful message about Bitcoin. Going back to the nature of issuing money, right? We know that historically it was issued against gold, right? There was a gold-backed currency system, you know, that's just been historical for thousands of years. Um, so when you don't have gold, a physical asset anymore backing our system, the question becomes, well, you know, how do you, how do you issue currency, right? And so this idea of Bitcoin, it's, I think it's very, it's been very novel as we've seen the idea of a certain amount, just kind of like, you know, with, it's obviously virtual, but like gold, right? There's a certain amount that's out there and can be mined and accessed and traded and whatnot. Um, it gives a certain steadiness. I think it will give a certain stability to the nature of transactions and, and um, you know, and again, like not, you know, where you just can't create more Bitcoin, presumably, right? It's, a, it's going to be a closed system. The movie is streaming now on the paradigm of money film.com. And we'll leave you with this excerpt featuring a favorite Bitcoiner of ours, Max Kaiser. The wild card now is Bitcoin because um, a lot of banks and sovereign wealth funds and wealthy individuals and insurance companies and corporations are putting more and more of their balance sheet into Bitcoin. And as Christine Lagarde has said, Bitcoin is an escape valve. So she's aware that if any company or country or sovereign wealth fund wants to get out from underneath this, this 
pirating, this legalized pirating that we see destroying the global banking and economy, they can do so via Bitcoin, which is unconfiscatable, and it totally separates money from state, which is the first time we've ever seen that in history. So that's that's the great hope. And now in 2021, we're seeing this whole thing play out. The banks are trying to compete with Bitcoin, and they realize that there's no way to stop it. Countries like uh, Nigeria, India, China have tried to ban it. They can't. There's no way to ban it. So we're seeing a transition. We're seeing a, a, the world uh, bring in a new global monetary standard, which will be Bitcoin. Bitcoin will take the place of the U.S. dollar. Yep. 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 Yep.